Okay, that was awesome. Today, I'm trying to find elk. Uh, and I'm actually trying to find a specific elk, one elk. Um, I was out here yesterday. It was an absolute drenching downpour up here in the park yesterday. And uh, I actually had a really fun morning. It was uh, a little uncomfortable in the sense that it was absolute downpour, uh, but I was uh, able to come out and I found a bull elk that uh, has nine points on his antler on the left and seven on the right. And that's pretty unusual for elk around here. So he's got a big, beautiful set of antlers. And uh, by the time I got here, or by the time I found him yesterday, he was wandering away from me. So I just kind of made some record shots just to be able to like zoom in and see his antlers. They're very impressive. Uh, he was with a group of other big bulls and um, that's a pronghorn. Just saw something moving out there. Uh, but anyway, so he was with a group of other big bulls. So I got up here extra early this morning and I've been sitting here waiting for there to be enough light that I could actually get my binoculars out and locate some elk. And there are a bunch of big bulls out here. So, like, there's three on the ridge way out there. And all three of these guys that are on the ridge out there are, like, really big, beautiful bulls in their own right. These are the, the contenders that are going to be soon running around out here fighting with each other for rights to mate. And uh, right now they're still all friends and they still got velvety antlers, but their antlers are almost fully grown. Uh, yesterday when I found them, they were moving this way. So I positioned myself that uh, I'll, they'll be on this side of the car, hopefully coming towards me because there's uh, forest this way. It's mostly just kind of flats out this direction, sagebrush flats, and then the forest is over this way. So they should be working their way this way as the morning progresses here, as the light comes up. Uh, so I'm positioned to where I can kind of move on this dirt road into position as they keep coming towards the road. Uh, at least that's my plan. And it's we've got some low fog. We probably won't get much light punching through here, so it might just be kind of flat light, which could be nice for portraits. So uh, I think this is a good setup, and I'm actually really glad that I found this elk already. Uh, at least now I know where he is, so I know what I'm up against in 
terms of trying to photograph him. Mosquitoes. Darn mosquitoes. So anyway, I'm going to play the patience game here and let them keep coming a little bit closer to the road. I'll keep an eye on them. And then once, hopefully, they come closer to the road, there will be enough light. Because, like, right now, if I were to shoot this, I would be... Yeah, I'd be shooting at this at like a 25th of a second at a pretty high ISO. So, uh, no problem. But I'd rather get a little more light on these beautiful animals. So, I'll check back with you in a little bit. But that's what I'm here doing. Elk. Big bull elk. Hopefully this one special big bull elk that has a pretty unique set of antlers. So this uh, group of bulls, including the one the nine by seven that I kind of specifically wanted to find, they are coming closer to the road and there's enough light now uh, that I could make some reasonably um, sharp photos here. It'd still be slow shutter speed, maybe a 60th of a second or something, which would be no problem as long as he wasn't moving very fast. And they're not, they're just grazing. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. They're still probably like 300 yards away. So quite a ways away still. But, and so they know I'm here. They're watching me. So I just got to go move slow in little increments and not get too close to where I'm going to cut off their path where they're going to cross the road and go into the forest this way. But uh, I do want to be close enough to get some nice photos of this guy. The background is pretty interesting from here with a uh, forest that's got some kind of foggy and mist going on in it. So that could be a pretty cool background. And uh, I'm shooting real deep here with all my crops and stuff at like 1,200 millimeters or so. So it looks like I'm closer than I am. Uh, but really, the, the, the ones I'm interested in are out here right now. They're a little bit closer, and that's got the big one too. And the bison are out there as well. A little further out. which is kind of cool to see the bison out there in the fog and mist, but they're a long, long ways. So this is great. Uh, I don't see anything else around me, but it's just a waiting game out here and trying not to make any mistakes that'll make this big guy turn around and go the other way. While I'm here just waiting, I'm trying some artsy fartsy stuff with some of these elk that are long, long ways away. So it'll be like small in the frame. Uh, just looking for little silhouettes of antlers uh, and then a bunch of blurry foreground sagebrush. I don't know if it'll work or not. I mean, I kind of like it anyways, but since I'm not doing anything else, I'm like just trying something, you know, making some photos out here. Uh, kind of simple just with that white sky to silhouette them. All right, I moved into a little better position. I kind of, the way this hill was, I, I actually kind of have them facing straight at me, which I didn't really want to do, but that's kind of what I had to do to, uh, to be able to actually see them because there was a little rise right here. But anyway, so I'm in a better spot. They're closer, they're maybe like 200, 250 yards away. Uh, and so far they're back to grazing. They're watching me, but they're back to grazing, which is awesome that they're getting a little more comfortable with me. So the big guys in this group, along with several other big guys, but this is really cool. And we're getting some interesting light now too. So the video is really cool because there's a lot of big bulls like out in the background and stuff. It's gorgeous. I gotta wait for that one moment where I can get a nice photo of the big guy. The background's perfect right now, but he's kind of overlapping other elk. So I'm kind of waiting for him to be isolated. And uh, hopefully they don't get too disturbed by my presence here and, and walk the other way. What a gorgeous morning though. 
some fog in the background. It's just great. And a lot of elk out. Got to get up early to see these elk. Like I was up two hours before sunrise, actually a little more than that. To be able to get up here in time and get set up. Because if I was driving in right now with my headlights on and everything, they'd probably be spooked. And yesterday morning I missed them because I was here uh, actually before this time, but they were already headed into the timber. So you just got to be up early and hope for the best out here. Yeah, and this morning is an elk jackpot. I'd love to get them in closer, though. So. All right, I'm still going here. A lot of elk out, and it's fantastically beautiful. Uh, I, enough light came out. I put the 2X teleconverter on here. So I'm currently shooting at 800 millimeters. And uh, it's still kind of slow. Like ISO 800, 1 1 25th of a second and wide open. And uh, that's enough. Let's see what I can do with those guys. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, that's enough shutter speed because these elk are mostly just grazing. And I'm looking for these little moments when they stop and like look around. And when they're not moving, 125th of a second is fine. Even at 800 millimeters, I can get a nice sharp photo there. So... Uh, yeah, it's nice when they're this far away to have the extra extra focal length. And then I'll take this off, hopefully, if they keep coming closer. But this is working great. It's just beautiful. And the elk are being very cooperative, even though they're not very close. They're not running away. They're not scared. They're not changing their behavior. It's really nice. So I keep moving little by little here to try and keep the background to be that uh, kind of fog-covered hills and trees back there. When I get when they get over to further right, it's just like a boring fog bank. And so this is way more interesting. And um, so I keep moving just a little bit at a time to try and not freak them out. And so far, it's working. The elk are they know I'm here. They're watching me, but they're they watch when I move, and then when I stop, they watch me for a sec, and then they get back to grazing. So. It, uh, everything seems pretty cool.
was awesome. There's still a few left over here. He finally came across the road in front of me and it was awesome. Full frame headshots. It was fantastic. I think the two biggest guys have gone, but there's still some magnificent bulls in this group. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's uh, six of them left over here and they're gonna cross the road in a sec, but they're awesome. They're like, just grazing and watching me. And here I got a nice dark background, which is pretty cool. It's kind of cluttery because there's too many elk. All right, they're about to make a dash across the road. Guess they're going to stroll across the road. I like this one little bull that's hanging out with these beast monsters. And then there's the one little guy. It's kind of funny. Okay, that was awesome. Holy moly. So good. Uh, I couldn't have really asked for much more than that. Maybe some amazing light, but even this soft light was great. So there's another group like 500 yards back that way. So I might hang around and wait and see if these guys do the same thing. But that was super cool that that one elk that I was specifically looking for came and I got some full frame headshots of them. It's still in velvet, but really impressive group of bulls there. Man, nice. And these guys are coming. Let's see what they look like way out there. Yep, they are way out there. Yeah, and there's some nice bulls out there too. I don't think they're as big as this group, but certainly worth sticking around for. Awesome. So this next group of bulls is still coming in. They seem to be following the same path as the first group of bulls, which is great because I'm set up in a perfect position if they keep doing that. But I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna stick with these guys and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I've done out here all along. Uh, I'm gonna just try and position myself to uh, where I can hopefully get close enough to them to make some nice photos, but not so close or so erratically moving that I'm gonna scare them, frighten them away. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for the best background I can find. Uh, with some silhouettes with the bright sky and also some uh, silhouettes with the fog and then just some a little more environmental with the foggy hills and trees behind them and just seeing what presents itself to me. I'm going to be exposing for the brightest white part of the fog or the cloud and making that blown out, back it off a third and that'll be it. I'll have my exposure locked uh, and that'll make the elk as bright as it can possibly be and without blowing out the highlights. Uh, and then I can adjust that later in post, but that should give me maximum image quality out here. So uh, I'm kind of targeting the biggest bulls with my camera. And uh, other than that, I'm just trying to have a good time and really enjoy this because it's so lovely out here. It's like no wind, just soft, beautiful light, cool morning air, it's 44 degrees. And uh, it's early August, so I'm, the elk are, they're out now, and they're not quite in their rut yet, but it's coming very soon. Most of their antlers are like 90 to 95% grown, and then they'll start stripping off their velvet soon. So uh, expect some more elk videos in the coming, say, two months, because uh, I love getting out early and finding these kind of atmospheric conditions and some bull elk. It's just fantastic. Uh, I heard one bugle this morning, but they've been pretty well behaved and not bugling yet. And of course, that's a magic sound of fall. I look forward to hearing more of that. But 
anyway, thanks for watching. Just another wonderful morning out here. And I'm going to be doing that quite a bit this fall. And if you're coming on a workshop with me this fall, we're going to be doing a lot of this. And it's a lot of fun. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please visit my uh, print shop on my website, stevemathis.com, and order some prints of beautiful bull elk or stuff from Africa, just random stuff, all, all kind of wildlife and landscapes. Uh, it's now much easier to order prints and to order them framed and to order them on metal, whatever you want. I've got a pretty good system now there to uh, be able to handle that for you. So anyway, I'd appreciate that if you're interested in buying some prints and uh, that'll be it. I'm going to keep my eye on these elk. They're coming in close. So I'm going to start making some photos again. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. See you next time.